Well, a mobile agent is a form of technology. Mm. Uh, what's happened uh, in our group is that we have a, uh, a network of agents mm -hmm. who list property and sell them generally individually. But where we're going, uh, and very strongly um, in this direction, is, the, is where um, New Zealand has been. And that is in the ability for one agent, an encouragement for one agent to sell another agent in the group's listings. Uh, this has got to be good for our clients, the sellers, because in the end um, it means that there's more competition for the property if we can get more agents working on them. Now, mobile agent is a technology which fits into your iPhone. Um, it's, it allows you to know every listing that's on the market with every agent in the state. Mm -hmm. So I can put in a suburb, I can put in a price range, and if another agent in our group has a property in that, in that area, it will pop up on a list. Yes. And we're able to then contact the agent and say, hey, we've got a buyer, would you be interested in, in uh, having them through? And of course the answer is yes, and then we get them through and, mm -hmm. and see if we can't get a sale together. Now, mm -hmm. other agencies in South Australia and across Australia uh, don't have this same technology to the same level um, and many don't have anything like it at all. And in fact, the real estate industry in Australia has become quite insular even within mm. franchise groups and, and individual offices. You can go into an individual office where people don't sell anyone else's in the office's listings. Mm -hmm. And then they certainly don't sell the agent down the road who's in their group's listings. Mm. But mobile agent gives those in the Brock Harcourt's group mm. and the Harcourt's group across Australia the opportunity to refer or introduce buyers to properties where otherwise um, they might not have known about it, particularly if they're not in the paper, but even so, you can miss them. So it's point of difference? Absolute point of difference, yes. Yeah. There are other technologies which, which seek to emulate it, but it's surprising how few agents actually have, have it, mm. and then I don't know that anyone has anything as quite as sophisticated and yet, and yet simple mm. as the approach that the Harcourts organisation internationally does for us. How long has the mobile agent been around? A few years, um, uh, but uh, the, with the advent of the iPhone, mm. more applicable because mm. you know in, in past it's a phone based, typically a phone based technology, and of course phone faces were smaller. Yes. And the ability to show property has grown because more and more people, more and more real estate agents have, mm. you know, large faced phones, so you can see the, show the photographs as, as you can and browse the internet, etc. Mm. So. Um, it's been around, um, and certainly it's been quite successful again in New Zealand because they've been more used to working with it. Mm. Now Adelaide used to be like this. When I started in real estate, there was a multi-listing bureau mm -hmm. where all agents sold each other's property. And for years mm -hmm. after that, the, it was a common thing to be able to ring up the agent down the road mm -hmm. and say, I've got a buyer, I'll, can I bring them around? Mm -hmm. Or someone else in your office. And, mm -hmm. and my first probably seven years in real estate, I did a massive amount of that. Mm -hmm. But the culture has changed. It's changed in, in, in certain areas of Adelaide. You, mm. um, to the best of my knowledge, uh, well, there is no multi-listing bureau anymore, which where, where agents can just mm -hmm. see a book full of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of properties that anyone can sell. Mm. Um, and so it relies on technology and it relies on getting off your butt and actually making a phone call and saying, I've got a buyer for this property, would you be interested? And working mm -hmm. the buyers. On the right-hand side, take a one, at 1 minute and 30, shaking it the wrong way.